Cool. Probably supposed to get up to 17 Celsius today. Hey, hey. Oh! See, this is why you got your life jacket on. Stay off the gunnels. Thought you're taking a swim. You're already wet anyway. Oh, almost went in again. You got a life jacket on this time. No big deal. The Lady Duffer and Lake. This looks like a boat ahead of us. Yep, it is. Bullet channel. dog this rock right here this is the official marking of the park boundary we are now entering Lady Evelyn smooth water park Ooh, big log Looked up my uh, topple map to confirm that. I'm like, I think this is the rock. Marks the park boundary. We're officially in the park. Traffic jam. Oh, there they go. <laughs> I'm like traffic jam. <laughs> Held up in traffic. The ducks were holding us up. reef across here. This is really shallow. Yeah, this one there is a bit of a channel on the left over there. Look at how the motorboats get through here. <laughs> First campsite over here. It's nice in here though. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's like goes right across. fire pit. Yeah, that's definitely the first one. So I think I'm going over here. I think this is where that creek comes down off the other lake. I believe there's a trail. I'm not positive. I'll have to look at my map. 
it just looks nice down here. Okay, walking up the beach here, you see. First I saw this little spot. I'm like, oh, that's a pretty decent spot. Maybe I'll put the tent here, and I still may. We'll see. So it's nice and flat. But, uh, Tucker's just play, play, play. Then you got a beautiful little water feature here. comes down off another little lake out onto a sandy beach and then I saw this trail I'm like hey looks like a table and everything up here and I'm like wow look at this oh! I know that's what Tucker says too. Look at this. A few spots up here. You can put a tent up here too. More sheltered fire pit. I like that. And then I discovered there is a portage trail right here. Which is the downside that we're camping on the portage. I'm going to walk that because I think it's only short. I think it's right there. I know, Tuck. But this is the highlight of it all right here. Florida, eat your heart out. Check out the beach. I would take this beach any day over any Florida beach. I will tell you that right now. Oh, there's another campsite right here too. Very small one. Wow, maybe after we set up camp, I might come do an afternoon explore on this. I didn't realize how close it was. Hold on, I'll look on the map with the what the name of this lake is. Thinking that's Marion, maybe? Something like that. Let me check. Okay, I was close. It's Marina Lake, not Marion. Close. Huh, there he comes, Tucker. I think he went the other way. Wow. Tucker decided I'm taking a swim. <laughs> Good boy. And my inreach is at 100%, so perfect. I'm glad. I was a little nerve-wracking at first when I turned it on and said, uh, battery dangerously low, then it powered off. I'm like, uh-oh, I better charge it up. And then I'm like, uh-oh, where's the charging cord? And uh, yeah, I didn't have a, the charging cord with me, but luckily I found that white one there. I found that one in the glove box of my truck. I'm like, oh, it fits and it works. Perfect. Tuck dog. Being a good boy. After you scared everything that was wild in the area. Yeah, you scared it all the way. He did a whole perimeter search all around from lake to lake. And every living thing that was here is now gone. He's got the zoomies. <laughs> I wish I had his energy. But wait till we do all those portages. Though. If he doesn't get his naps, he ain't like this. <laughs> I know, when nobody plays with you, you play by yourself. I know, I do the same. That's why we solo camp. <laughs> Nobody wants to play with me. Alright, well, those eagles are gone. They kept going the other way. Hope they're checking out the ducks and not you, Tuck. <laughs> I wouldn't want to have to kill an eagle. 
We will fight to the death. Chair up and Tucker jumps up and it's like, oh, thanks, you brought me a chair. So kind of you to let me use my own chair, Tuck. You can use it for now. Till I'm done supper. Boreal 21. Agua. Agua Boreal 21. Oh look, we got a bunch of thugs around my canoe. How dare them. <laughs> That's funny, they, they were like literally all around my canoe checking it out. Grand Theft Boat, let's go. <laughs> Not doing your job, Tuck. Not protecting the boat. He almost got away with it. I'd say that wraps up the day. Tuck and I are just gonna sit here in front of the fire, listening to loons off in the distance. And then we'll hit the hay. Good night. That was something else. We actually had a moose in here, <laughs> and uh, we were running all over trying to jump on it and kill it. Finally, Tucker managed to grab it, we pinned it in the corner, and Tucker <laughs> pounced on it and killed it. I'm like, oh, pretty tight quarters for a little moose to be. He went from corner to corner, and we're I'm throwing things at it. <laughs> Uh, we got him, little Tuck. He's looking for another one. Yeah, I hope not. I think that was it. Make sure nothing else is in here. Go crawl in my sleeping bag. There's a freaking mouse in it. <laughs> that was funny. Funny, but not so funny. All right. Good night. Good morning. Excuse me. Survive the night anyway. Yeah, about three layers of clothes on because I was cold. Yeah, it was, either that sleeping bag's not rated for this temperature or it went below six anyway. So it was rated from six to twelve and it was supposed to get down to six degrees last night, but. Yeah, I can see my breath. <laughs> I'm thinking it went below six. Because it's definitely a cold one this morning. 
Oh, gotta get some coffee on the go. Try and wake up and get rolling. Wow. Come to the sunrise side of the lake. This is marina lake on the other side where the sun's actually rising. <laughs> Such an awesome fall morning. Very cold and damp, mind you, but look at the views. Don't get much better. Alright, let's go see if that water's boiling yet. Good morning! Alright, all loaded up again. Just gonna go do one last walk around the campsite like I always do. Make sure I didn't forget anything, lose anything, drop anything. Here we go. Still some fog on the water, beautiful. up these guys and I'm seeing paddles in the water and they're heading right for the same portage I am. Maybe they're other paddlers. It's kind of cool. It's funny that I'm catching them though. They're way ahead of me. But that's the advantage of a lightweight solo canoe with a double blade. You can you really make up the ground? See the portage tuck? And that was a canoe I saw because I kind of just saw them going up the trail. Just climbed up this hill. Very sucky muck, but I was able to push with the paddle up to that rock there. I was able to step out and keep dry feet, which is nice. So I'm going to go across with all the bags first, then I'll come back with the canoe. We'll move it up a little higher in case someone else comes through and needs a room. 800 meter portage into Apex. Oh, yeah, sit down. Have some water there. Where's the water? Alright. Well, break's almost over, Tuck. It's 11.30. We gotta get moving. Yeah, the thing is, we're definitely not gonna make it to Scarecrow Lake today. Because we have to be out by Tuesday. I got stuff going on Wednesday back home. I don't know, Tuck. We might not even make it. Hmm. If I had an extra day, one extra day, I could do it. But I said I told the boss I'd be out by Tuesday night. For... Yeah. So I think we're turning back, Tuck. <laughs> Tucker was happy. He's climbing in the canoe and getting ready to take the journey down the hill, I guess. <laughs> so I think that's what we're going to do, Tuck. We'll just, uh, I hate to turn back. Well, man, this pisses me off. But I need that extra day. That's not too bad at all. We have been over halfway. Because uh, this is Apex Lake, I thought, well, I might as well get a hike in at least. Since I'm not climbing the ridge or anything, there's no point in going on. Because I need that extra day. But I thought, ah, good day for a hike. So this really is Apex Lake. <laughs> Yeah, portage isn't too too bad. It's overgrown in a little bit of spots, but nothing. No worse than anything I've already done this year. Oh, the breeze feels good. So this is down there around the bend. Pretty 
short lake is where the 1200 meter portage starts. But, uh, yep. They're well marked anyway. There's portage signs and they're nice and wide entrances to them, so it's pretty hard to miss the portages. Anyways, we'll go back and just do some fishing, I guess, relax, and I don't know. Slowly make our way back. At least we got a hike in. <laughs> love portage and I just did that entire portage for nothing. <laughs> well, very, very disappointed. Failed trip. Sucks, man. I needed that extra day. I didn't have to be back. Oh, dear. Oh, they go. Oh, we're getting like the ocean out here. We're almost there though, with this campsite right up here. Like, like inside us. Just a rolling out here. Rolling pretty big. Uh, I'll try and get into this little cove up here. Recognize this place, same as last. Oh, at least there's cool sunsets here. But I was just talking to a couple of guys that are around this point here. That goes into a nice, looks almost like a little marina over there. And they're kind of windbound there in an overcraft canoe, which is bigger than mine. And they're doing a huge epic loop. So shout out to those guys. They're going uh, right around into Solus and everything else. They're doing this huge loop. Anyways, shout out to them. I didn't get their names, but I kind of walked through their campsite. Because they're setting up camp on the point, and that's where I was going to set up camp. Just to get out of the wind and waves, because around that point, it was, well, I saw, it just got huge, and I was almost getting capsized. So, since there's a change of plans... I'm back at my campsite I had yesterday, and I'm like, well, now that I'm ahead of schedule, I'm going to fish this lake. Because this lake isn't in that protected zone that's on the map, so we'll fish it and just play around a little bit on it. It's really small. So that camp's set up. Let's go check it out. It is a portage straight ahead. <laughs> like, it should be a portage somewhere here. It's a 700 meter portage. It goes into another lake. Or it goes into that protected area. With the Aurora trout and whatnot. It should be pretty cool to see. Portage. No fishing. Provincial Fish Sanctuary. Yep. Looks like a decent trail though. Which I'm kind of surprised about. I wonder how many people use this trail. 
Yeah. Not bad at all. We'll play in a loop in here one day. Hey, okay, Chuck. Wrong way. I ain't doing that right now. 700 meters to the other lake. Oh, look at that pretty boat sitting down there. Yeah, I was talking to those guys. They're like, how much does that boat weigh? It was like 38 pounds. I'm like, wow. <laughs> But yeah, <sighs> I love it. Yep, it's exactly what it looks like, craft dinner. And I even found a Pepsi. I'm like, oh, no wonder the bag's so heavy. There's Pepsi in there. So might as well drink it. Good night, everybody. The morning fog clouds are already lifted. They're blowing on. The waves have picked up already. We are off. Wearing the gloves even this morning for my winter games. Drink coffee as we go. Like a herd of turtles. Getting a white cap out there in the middle already, but I love to it. I talked to you last week over there on the point. And now it even packed up yet. We're out. 803 and we're on the line. We're good. Rocking and a rolling. But with all the bags in this boat here, it's actually very, very stable with them. For how rough it is out here. And those other guys are still at camp, so they might be doing a windbound day. But they're going against the wind, so the further up the lake they get, the less it'll be. Remember this was a shallow point. I think there's going to be enough water to surf right over top. Yep. Woohoo! Surfing now. <laughs> yeah! That's awesome. Going out to paddle. Surf, baby, surf! again as we make our way back. The beautiful fall colors starting to show already.
Northern Ontario fishing with Darren and Tucker. We don't catch fish and we usually get suckered. Mr. Clam. <laughs> That's cool. Easy to miss if you go not paying attention. We're back, Tuck. I see the truck. The truck is still here. Imagine that. I think Tucker's ready to call it a ready to go home before I am. Look at you. Snug as a bug in your bed. It's like I'm ready. Well, I'm not. We gotta load everything in. Drop the canoe down, have some lunch. Well, not a bad way on the way home. We get dinner. Partridge, rough grouse, nice. Pretty much a headshot, one in the shoulder there. Not bad. And I just passed a bunch of bikers that were sitting up here having a break. And then they came down as soon as I shot. Duck, come on. They're like, did you get supper? So now they've gone ahead of me, so I might as well just turn around. Hey, leave it. our last nice day of the year snow in the forecast the rest of the week but nine degrees Celsius right now wind chill of five over here so I'll get my orange hat on it's hunting season but we're gonna take advantage of this one last day to go for a paddle barely got a paddle on the way back the wind's pushing us it's just me and a canoe, but technically it's me and all of you fans. Oh, uh, thanks to everybody that watched that uh, Remembrance Day video yesterday, too. I had a ton of views on it. Got two new subscribers, so if you're a new subscriber, welcome. I hope I don't bore you too much with this channel. I have fun doing it. Do a lot of canoeing, camping, fishing. A little bit of fishing. I don't know how to fish very well, so. <laughs> I used to fish all the time, just in my motorboat. And I did quite well at it. Then I got the canoe and got into more adventuring and exploring than I did fishing, so I really should get back into the fishing aspect. Because I'm missing all those pickerel dinners, or walleye dinners, sorry. Everybody's like, they're not pickerel, they're walleye. Yeah, yeah. I know. Did I mention how nice it is when that sun's shining? Man, I'm loving life right now. Woo! <laughs> Try a little fishing now. See if we have any luck. Oh, fish on. This isn't a perch, I can tell you that. 
<laughs> he is pulling like mad. <laughs> oh, this is definitely a pike. <laughs> Good thing I brought my nap. He's fighting. He's fighting. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Not bad. Dinner size. That didn't take long. <sighs> yeah. That didn't take long. Mr. Pike, I think I'll take him home for dinner. He's not real big, but... Uh, what do you say, folks? Can let him go? Oh, no, there's enough meat on him. I'll get a couple of little fillets. Not real big, but uh, big enough for dinner, I think. Not too shabby. Get my boat all full of fish slime. There go. Just dispatched them best I could. With what I had. Alright. That didn't take long at all. What, two minutes of fishing? <laughs> I knew that wasn't a perch. <laughs> Alright. My boat is full of slime now, though. And my pants. <laughs> I smell like bear bait. <laughs> oh, that water is cold. <laughs> I just washed the fish slime off my hands. Now my fingers are frozen. I hear a bike coming back. There's that's the neighbor. Fish on again. <laughs> oh yeah. This is another pike. I can tell. <laughs> oh wow, two pike. For supper. Again, he's fighting more than a perch would. <laughs> oh, well, it's a little bit nicer. Oh, come on, get in the net. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> he's about the same size, I guess. A little nicer, I think. <laughs> The single hook. Was right out. There you go. <laughs> He's definitely bigger. We're keeping you, Mr. Slimy. Yep, definitely got dinner now. That one's quite a bit bigger than the first one. Yeah, yeah, baby. Whoever thought I'd catch some fish today? Yeah, wind blowing right into the weeds here, but that's all right. That's awesome. Wonder how Razor did with bird hunting. I think I outdid him. I got supper. I don't think he did. I didn't hear any shots go anyway, but doesn't mean he didn't get any. Wouldn't hear him in this wind. All right, almost back to the truck.
Alright, let's cast this out again. We're not back to the truck yet. Uh oh. Tangled my line though somewhere. Uh oh. Uh -oh. We're getting blown into shore though. <laughs> Amateur fishing hour with Darren. <laughs> this is the best fishing I've had all year, I think. <laughs> Who knew? 15 minutes from my house. It'd be cool if you would have got a bunch of birds. I would have traded them. Traded them a fish for a bird. I can have surf and turf. So you got nothing to trade. So. Is all mine. Only half the fish. Did it get any better? <laughs> we got more in the bag yet. Oh, my stomach's growling. Oh, look at that. Supper doesn't get any better than that. Fresh fish. See, somebody walked in here already and checking things out. It's like winter wonderland in this trail. Quite a bit of snow. Oh, oh, I'm dropping the glove. Ugh. Yeah, that's right there. Fill it right up. Fill up the glove with snow. <laughs> it's nice back here, though. Almost enough snow to bring the snow machine in. Pretty rocky still. Need another good, good dumping yet. Maybe next time I come home. I don't know. Well, we're on the alleys. It feels a whole lot more solid than other spot. All right, I forgot the little tripod though to set my camera up. We'll try something here. Uh oh, not very much. Stand on, maybe. It's a nice, nice dark right here. It's way better looking than that stuff in there. Way better looking out here. <laughs> it's clear, but it's thin. sure if that showed up where I was but there's not a lot this is crappy ice here got really clean ice out here but there's only like two inches of it so I'm gonna fish for a little bit right here but uh, I would not recommend it to anyone else do as I say don't as I, don't do as I do Yeah. We'll jig a little bit here. See what we get. Go somewhere. I did find a homemade cookie from my neighbor. She gave me so snacks at least. <laughs> right on. Well, this could be a bust. I thought I'm gonna go a little bit further away, but as I walk, watch. <laughs> yeah, it said goes right through. That's not not even an inch there. So no. Because we only got four feet of water right here. I thought if only I can go it a little bit further. Now, this weekend's supposed to be another cold snap, fifteen to twenty below overnight temps and so that'll that'll definitely do it for this lake. It'll it'll be good then. A few more inches.
unbelievable I actually had a hit <laughs> just jigging a spoon with nothing on it no bait because my bait fell out somewhere on the trail I'll have to look for it on the way back just jigging along here taking in beautiful scenery and then all of a sudden BAM <laughs> I was like what seriously he felt the hook didn't come back. <laughs> Just on a spoon, man. Unbelievable. That's a nice fish I'm taking home for dinner. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. He hit a couple of times and just wham. Awesome. Oh, it's worth the cold hands. That is worth the cold hands right there. <laughs> Just snap the picture. Selfie. This is so worth coming in here. This the uh, that's the first trout I've ever caught out of this lake. And yes, if you're wondering, this is a stock lake, and they're open year round on this lake. Uh, I checked the regulations before coming out because they stock it. It's open year round. <sighs> that reason supper baby oh, definitely needs another one <laughs> yeah it was pretty watery tasting Let's see if we can get out of here now. Oh, oh yeah, four wheel drive. No problem, man. And through there, it's crackling shit. That's a blueberry lake in there, they call it. I have never fished it. And uh, one of these days, I'm going to come back with the canoe in the summer, obviously, and uh, bushwhack my way in. Apparently there's a little trout in there too. Bye bye, that's where we came out of. Oh, stay on the road there. Uh oh, off the road. On the road, off the road. All right, heading back to civilization. No, don't make me do it. Don't make me go back. Civilization, you're uncivilized lately. Out here makes way more sense. Life in the bush. There's always a reason why things happen out here. Somebody went off the road there. <laughs> in town, sometimes nothing makes sense, but out here, everything makes sense. Hey.